My name is Ricky McKnight and I'm a lift engineer with Glasgow City Building LLP. John Porterfield, I'm the Vice Convener at the United Branch in the City Council and I'm also a driver in the Refuse Collection Services. Hi, I'm Lindsay Millen and I'm a Finance Sector Rep within United the Union. Des Lockley, I'm Secretary of the Edinburgh Voluntary Sector Branch United and I work for Edinburgh Trade Union Council. Barbara Reid and I work as a Station Master in the Glasgow Subway. Pensions is a huge issue for everyone, whether you're public sector or private sector. I think it's really important that private sector workers stand alongside um, our public sector colleagues. It's basically, you know, pensions are going to be protected. Um, you know, we've, we've spent a long time paying into them. Um, start changing the goalposts now, it's just not on really. So we'll have to fight to keep what we've got. I voted yes to take action in the 30th to try and protect my pension that I signed up for in 1993 and the government are trying to change the terms and conditions without my pension so I have to pay more in, work longer, get less at the end. I think I'm entitled to take action. I voted yes to take action the 30th because I'm going to have to work longer but not only that, my children are going to have to work longer. I think workers in the private sector are happy to stand alongside public sector workers to defend their pensions. These people do a job and we all rely on public sector employees no matter what sector we work in. We found out that the average pension is six or seven thousand pounds a year on top of your state pension. That is what I call gold plated. I would say that the only public sector pension that is gold plated is that of a politician's. You know, if it was gold plated, everybody would be retiring in luxury, but I don't think that's the case, so you know, I think that's just, that is a myth. My public sector pension isn't gold plated, it's getting reduced by the year, and the payments are going up, it's going to cost me more to get less. I can't see that being gold plated. I'm not sure if I can repeat that on camera! <laughs> My message to them is get your hands off our pensions. I don't think his pension is going to be affected the same as mine is. He's probably got nothing to worry about. Leave the public services alone. You know, public services are what they are, they're services for people. I think they should respond to the demand of the British people that when it comes to pensions, there should be equality and justice. And that means that uh, pensions should be paid on a proper basis, that people should have a proper income after um, a lifetime of work. I think if they tried to spend a day in the shoes of a public sector worker, they'd soon learn what real life is really like. These people don't have a lot of money and they're not going to have a lot of money in retirement, unlike them with their giant trust funds. So I think they should take a dose of reality and, and take a long, hard look at themselves.